let's understand about the recording of a transaction. Now, basically, you know that uh, the fundamental rule of accounting is that there are debits and credits. So, there is a classification which is done for various accounts for the purpose of debit and credit. All the transactions are classified into or all the accounts are classified into five categories. These are your assets your liabilities, the capital, expenses, revenue, income, gains, whatever you might want to call it. Let's understand each one of them one by one and then as we move forward I would take you through the rules of accounting for these transactions or these accounting types. What do you mean by an asset? Now many a time when you incur expenditures what happens is that the expenditure could be something which you incur once in a while there is no future benefit which comes from it let me take you through two different things suppose you buy a computer okay and suppose you buy stationery for printing on computer this is basically the A4 size paper let's say Now, when you buy a computer, what happens is that this computer plus let's say printer is going to remain with you for a long period of time, a period which is more than a couple of days. It's not a single use item. So you continue to derive benefits out of this printer for a long period of time. Similarly, let's say building, furniture. So all this remains with you for a long duration of time and they are termed as assets for accounting purposes. Now in this very computer you also use stationery or the A4 size paper as I have pointed out. Now this paper once put into the printer and printed becomes useless. It's kind of a recurring expenditure. Expenditure which gives one time benefit. These are your expenses. Let's say you pay a salary. Every month you have to pay a salary. From your perspective, if you say, let's say your school fees, you have to pay it every month. But if you buy a car for going to the school, that's an asset. You buy it once and keep using it for long duration of time. So asset is something which is owned by the company and is used for a long duration of time. Liabilities. Now liabilities is anything which you have to pay to someone. Now this payment could be for purchase of an asset here or purchase of a item which is an expense. So anything payable to an outsider is called a liability. Capital, money put by owners. So this could be money, this could be an asset also. This is called capital in kind. And then you have the revenue or the income or a gain 
Revenue is what? Suppose you are in, engaged into the business of selling pens. So the income, the money that you get from selling the pen is called the revenue. The classification of these accounts into these five categories is very important from an accounting perspective. And the more you know it, the better it is for you because this is going to lay the foundation of anything and everything that you do as an accountant or maybe as a chartered accountant or maybe as a commerce professional. Now in the next video I will show you as to what are the rules of accounting for various assets, liabilities, capital, expenses and revenue.